you for joining me. You are watching Word of Inspiration. My name is Dr. Bertha Sewa Ayi, and this program is designed to encourage you in your daily living so that you can live victoriously and to equip you to become the best version of yourself. These past few days, I've been talking about pursuing your purpose with passion. And today, my subject is entitled, The Provision for the Vision. This is one of the P's or the words that begin with P that I've been discussing so far as it concerns pursuing your purpose with passion. This time, my text was taken from the book of Nehemiah chapter 2. See, Nehemiah had been working in a palace um, as a foreigner. Um, the Israelites were in captivity, and somebody told him that the walls of Jerusalem were broken and the gates had been burned down. And so he was greatly burdened, and he prayed a long prayer in Nehemiah chapter 1. And he asked God specifically that he was going to ask the king a request, and he needed favor. And so chapter 2 opens by Nehemiah talking and serving the king. And it came to pass in the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of Artaxerxes the king, that wine was brought before him, and I took up the wine and gave it to the king. Now I had not been before time sad in his presence. Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is your countenance sad, seeing you are not sick? There is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was sore afraid. See, even though he had prayed, he was afraid. And said to the king, let the king live forever. Why should my countenance not be sad when the city, the place of my father's sepulchers, lieth waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire? Then the king said to me, for what dost thou make your request? So I prayed to the God of heaven. Now, Nehemiah had already prayed. But then when the king asked him to say his request, he prayed again because he needed provision for the vision. How was he going to build a wall? Think about it. The guy is now in captivity. He doesn't have anything, but he wanted to believe God. So today, that's what I want to address with you, how to believe God for the for provision, for the vision, which seems large. He wanted to build the walls of Jerusalem. So he said, verse 5, if it please the king, and if your servant has found favor in your sight, that thou wouldest send me to Judah unto the city of my fathers, that I may build it. So that's his first request. Can I leave? So, verse 6, the king asked him, how long will your journey be and when will you return? So, it pleased the king to send me and I set him a time. Moreover, request number 2, if it please the king, let letters be given to me to the governors beyond the river that I may convey me over until I come to Judah. He wanted protection for his trip. And a letter unto Asaph, the keeper of the, for the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace which appertain to the house, and for the wall of the city and for the house that I shall enter into. And the king granted me according to the good hand of the Lord upon me. So, you know, it even appears he was in the king's palace for a reason. He could ask the king for favor, for timber, for things that he needed to be able to build the wall. So all these things were granted him and the, the, then I came to the governors beyond the river and gave them the king's letters. Now the king had sent captains of the, of the army and horsemen with him. So the king gave him more than he even asked for. When Sambalas the Horonites and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonites heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. I'll talk about Sambalas and Tobias tomorrow, but suffice it to say that for now, Nehemiah had the provision he needed. So that's what I wanted to share with you. I want you to believe God for the impossible, that whatever vision you have ahead of you, God is going to give you the provision to take care of it. In fact, that's why Jesus said we should pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You always have to pray and say, give us this day our daily bread. Now in Nehemiah chapter 7, something else happened as part of the work the Bible says in verse 70 of Nehemiah chapter 70 that, And some of the chief of the fathers gave unto the work. The Trisheta gave to the treasurer a thousand drums of gold, 50 basins, 530 priest garments. And some of the chief of the fathers gave to the treasurer of the work 20,000 drums of gold and 2,200 pounds of silver. 
That sounds like a lot. And that which the rest of the people gave was 20,000 drums of gold and 2,000 pounds of silver and three score and seven priest garments. So the priests and the Levites and the porters and the singers and some of the people and the Nethanims and all Israel dwelt in their cities when the seventh man came and the children of Israel were in their cities. This was the building of Jerusalem. But as we read through the Bible, the Bible says when it was time to build the temple, the temple, the tabernacle by Moses, the children of God just gave. So much as you should believe God for the provision, why don't you also be a channel to bless somebody's vision? If somebody comes to you to raise funds for a good cause, open your heart and allow God to use you as a channel for the vision. Please say this up to me. I am a winner. I am more than a conqueror. I have a per God has a purpose for my life. And that purpose will surely come to pass. I will not die, but I will live to declare the works of God concerning my life. God richly bless you. This is Word of Inspiration by Dr. Bertha Ayi. And today's message was the provision for the vision. Please join me tomorrow.